What's that like? I've never re I've never been there. A bit of an old school track. I, I did my first race a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, come I haven't raced for ten years since Farley O whatever it was. Come second in the first race. Bike went wrong in the second. Got a fourth on the twin shock model. Yeah. In the last. Oh fuck me! I'm recording that. Look at that. Didn't I was doing that. <laughs> I could leave that in. Yeah. See, <laughs> it's all talking about me. Do you know what? I'm I am going to leave that in because that was a total inf informal start to Man in the Van brought to you by Whole Shop Motorhomes. Um, am I recording? I think I am. Timer is going off. I think you are. Timer's on. Let's just double check. This is <laughs> on the back. A bit of a behind the scenes there to start it off. Oh, that was. I didn't even know I was doing that. Mm. Brilliant. Right. So you've worked out the guest now. Um, <laughs> apologies for the bad language. Um, Schoolboy error on my behalf. It's not about me. It's about, it's about Conrad Muse. It goes off, Con. It's still recording. Oh, I was about to say I didn't know if it it's was still, flat or something. It's still recording. Right, so, yeah, Man in the Van brought to you by Whole Shot Merbs. I've managed to pin this man down. Conrad, uh, thanks for coming in. No you're problem. a busy man. It's a pleasure. You've just gone out and, uh, you know, had a good ride in the opening motor at Fox Hills. Yeah, so, let's just talk Let's talk about that quickly. How did that go? Yeah, no, great. We, um, yeah, went polling qualifying this morning. Just won the first race. Um, felt really comfortable, actually. Uh, I feel like lately I've been struggling a bit with um, overriding, I think. Yeah. Just try, trying too hard and not really getting anywhere with it. Um, and then I just done the complete opposite. Just felt like I was out on kind of a bit of a practice ride, just riding smooth, casual, and to be honest, didn't use much energy at all. And it, it felt great, it felt really good. So um, yeah, I'm happy to to get the first race win out of the way today. So um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. We, we spoke before <clears> getting <throat> in you. You know, you, you're. We're not gonna get into the politics. I don't want to get into politics with you of like the whole last year or so and yeah. switching teams and like. Just not gonna do that because I know where you're at with it and where it's all. But I am gonna throw this question at you. Do you? You are talked about rider because of this. Like you just before we started this, you were saying about some GPs. You just it doesn't sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't yeah you know a lot of, yeah, yeah, do you sure. ever genuinely because <clears throat> i you know i read i've i've been one of those people that have commented on you know your performance in it do you pay attention to that do you get pissed off hearing and seeing about it i'm talking about it now i'm asking you you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, does it frustrate you because i what's the deal um, you know to be honest with you like i'm uh i'm quite uh like a guy that likes to speak to the fans likes to spend yeah. time with them like and takes on what they say you know like yeah. it's it, it, i think that's important and that's that's how i've always been and yeah you have bad comments and things like this and people always say oh don't listen to it let it go in one ear out the other but you you do, you do take it on you listen yeah. to it of course you do you don't just read something and think oh that don't matter i'll forget about that yeah so of course you do but to be completely honest i've actually um come off social media I've come off social media lately. Um, just to take a step back, just to focus on what I'm doing. I think you, you definitely see a lot of a lot of fake stuff on there. Um, and I just want to concentrate on myself. I just want to do everything I can, and I want to know that what I'm doing is enough. Yeah. And that's that's important for me. So after um, after Italy, obviously we didn't have a great weekend. I said to myself, right, that's enough. I'm uh, I'm just going to take a step back. Um, I'm going to come off it a bit, so obviously anyone that's messaged that's me or anything good. like that, I do so apologise. So you won't see this, which is great. Yeah, so <laughs> I, do, I, won't, I won't even see it, so I do apologise if I haven't got back to anyone, but <laughs> I took a step back from it. I've just wanted to just focus on my riding, and most importantly, I, I kind of not so much lost the enjoyment in it a little bit, but obviously nobody enjoys not getting good results you yeah. know like no one no one enjoys that and that, that's been the case lately and obviously i've been i rode well at the first round of the british and the gps portugal first race was good second race weren't as good um and yeah it's just been a difficult time for me lately but um like i said i've, I've kind of made a little bit of a change and got all my hair chopped off i've had a bit of a well, you've you got so. hair, mate. You've got hair to chop off. I know. I'm a bit worried about that because everyone's saying so, make trust the most me, of it. Well, well I'm going to tell you the same thing. <clears throat> just, just make the most of it. Yeah, your fortune. I think you'll be all right. You're not, you know. Yeah, no. That's you're it, not follically so. challenged like I am. You'll be fine <laughs> with that. But no, overall, it's kind of yeah. We're here now. I had a great first race, great qualifying. So, I mean, listen. This is from my standpoint. Like many now, if you get, you know, I get older. <laughs> it happens quick, and I. You know, I first saw you, met you, you know, you were winning. You came burst straight onto the national scene on the 50, and since, 50, and since then, 60, 50, 65, whatever it was. You know, 
in the UK, we've always there's there's riders that come along like yourself where you go, okay, clearly the, the kid's good, right? And you, you've been you've kind of been in that in the spotlight since then. So now you're <clears throat> now you're at a GP level. Have you ever sort of looked back already on your career, even though you're still really like got so many more years to come? And I just thought, oh, this is all a bit much, isn't it? Like, I'm just constantly being scrutinised, that pressure, even from a young age. Is, is, have you ever stopped? Seems like you're doing it now, though. Like you yeah. just said, you, you, you kind of reach that stage where you go, do you know what? I need to take stock of this. And Yeah, definitely. And I think that that is for sure a key point. But I think most importantly, I've, I've put so much pressure on myself throughout the years. Like, I've been doing MX2 for, I think, six or six years now, yeah. I think. So... I've been in the class a long time like this is my last year and from the moment I from the moment I step foot into that MX2 class to last weekend all I think about whenever I go to a race is I want to get my first podium I want to take yeah. a podium off I want to take a podium off and that's before we've even got to qualifying or anything so yeah I'm I'm thinking too far ahead I'm not I'm not thinking what's right in front of me and I do because everything you know you do know that some people I'm, I'm going to go on and say, I've never said it. I've, you know, obviously we all know what you're capable mm. of, but some people have genuinely, I've read comments where like, well, he just, he doesn't care enough, which is yeah, bullshit. Yeah, of course. It bullshit, looks right? Like that. I yeah, mean, yeah, you, yeah. you want to win, right? For sure. I mean, I never go, the thing what I try and explain to so many people is I would never go through the effort I go through in the week, do all the training that I do, do all the sacrifices that I do to go to a weekend and think, oh, I can't really be bothered this weekend. Yeah. I'm not too fussed. Like for sure, I wouldn't do all the miles. I wouldn't do any of that. I, I, I wouldn't mm. do it. Do you know what I mean? So, and we're spending so much money and things like that. And I think for some people, like I always go there on the weekends and give a hundred percent. And I, I agree myself. My riding sometimes is here, and then other times it's down here, which yeah. I completely understand that. But that's definitely not through the lack of wanting it. For, are you for sure? Uh, totally. So are you that process? You said you're here and here. I guess you're still trying to figure out that the reason why otherwise you'd fix it right yeah, of you, course you, you can't even yourself put a finger on like why sometimes you get on a bike and it comes easy and it feels good and there's obviously other times where you still feel it but it just doesn't happen so you're still trying to figure that out yourself. yeah definitely i mean it's not if I, if i had it figured out you would we'd have been we'd be doing a lot better now that's yeah. for sure we'd be in a lot better position um so i i truly believe that i think some people it happens faster than others yeah some people are uh, more mentally strong than others that's that's yeah. normal you know that that happens so but there is a there's a solution for everything and and we're we're trying our hardest but i mean yeah it's not for sure i don't go to the races and think oh i don't really want to do well yeah. this weekend it's not do you know what i mean so that's um <clears throat> yeah that's not true but like i said i go there every weekend i try my best one weekend it's 18th one weekend it's fourth it's so not so are you kind of trying to are you kind of at this you're at a point now where you're kind of learning to live with it a bit more because clearly you must get frustrated you know this is the thing like people get frustrated with with you and they're they're not even in your camp just general fans that want to see you do well like yeah, oh, how can you do so well at british and then you know so you you must feel that frustration more than anyone when you know you've had like wow what's going on like, I'd like you know <coughs> yeah definitely it out. like that's what i say to people like i'm I'm the person that sat on that bike. Yeah. I'm the person that everyone's watching. <clears throat> like I don't wanna Yeah, I don't wanna I don't want them to watch me roll around in eighteenth, nineteenth mm. place, you know. But yeah. the thing is in the world championship now, the level's so high, like it's it's not as easy to pass riders. The yeah. tracks are getting more tighter, the tracks are getting more one lined and it's difficult and if you're not there consistently then that's that's not how yeah. you're gonna get a great position in the championship. But let's talk about the future, you know, because he's still got a great future in front of you. I mean, <clears throat> let's be honest, it's been a good career to this point. It's not been, we're talking, we're making out like it's all bad, you know, bad yeah. news over there. Mate, you've had a great career. You've, you know, British a British Championship, it's not to be sniffed at at all, no. is it? I mean, it's still tough to win. So you've done that. Obviously, GPs, you'd like to crack on and do that. But last year in the class, obviously, once you sort this problem out, we all know that you're capable of getting a podium. So, but not talking about the rest of this year, Let's talk about the the whole thing of doing it as a privateer effort. How have you found that? And has that changed your structure? Have you had to do things differently because you're now a smaller and get involved with the everyday? Or have you just stuck to your program and let a smaller team of people take you to the races? Um, I mean, I try and stay out of as much of the logistics side as yeah. I can. Um, <clears throat> I have a great group of people around me that kind of 
helps out with that and things like that we have great people in the team and luckily enough we had some amazing sponsors come on yeah. board which even have, have put us in this position to be a british championship let alone every yeah. single world championship you know so um i can't thank them enough for for everything they've done for getting me here um but yeah like i said it's, it's very difficult it's difficult on your own you get um there's a lot more i think from where i came from and the situation as well there was a lot of pressure as well because yeah. they're like oh well this is what you wanted so now we should go straight to the front well it's not it's been a bit more difficult yeah. than that you know so this is <clears throat> i've got the people i want around i've got a great bike i'm happy it's just putting it all together now yeah. that's the that's the kind of fun well, we're still definitely. early in the year aren't we there's plenty of gp racing to come yet you know that's the point as well like we're not too far in really. yeah no definitely and i feel like <clears throat> although the results haven't showed it so far i feel like this year i'm definitely mentally better than i have been the other years because the other years i would um i would almost be a bit lost now you know yeah <clears throat> excuse me so i mean now i'm kind of learning to accept it a little bit and trying to work on how to overcome it rather yeah. than kind of getting lost in it and and being like oh i don't know i don't know what's happened and and letting it ruin a lot of rounds yeah and you know, go with so. it you know like you said it's your last year enjoy it enjoy the you know easier said than done but you know as the thing as you put a small group of people around you that you know in a way kind of takes pressure off more a lot of pressure for a smaller team to get to the races but a smaller more sort of private feel to it might might help you and you know unleash that potential for the rest of the year and then beyond that well who knows where you're gonna go beyond that but having watched you at the Hut Cup on mm -hmm. Friday on the 350 somewhere in between the two 250 and 450 I don't think you're gonna be too shabby when you go to the 450s of I know you still got the 250s to go but I haven't mm -hmm. had a little blast on that at the weekend yeah uh, Friday you know you, you don't know where you're gonna go obviously you've got to get this year out of the way but do you fancy yourself as a bit of a big bike rider? Do you reckon it suits you? I think it's yeah, better definitely. I'm, the way you ride, personally. Yeah, I'm so excited to get on a big bike. I feel like it's it's always kind of suited my riding style to be a bit more calmer, not yeah. to go out of the box as much. Um, so I am really excited. It was so nice to do that race on a 350, and that's only a 350, yeah. obviously. So, but it's nice to kind of have that power and to be able to ride exactly how I want to ride. You yeah. Know? So. I'm um I am super excited about that and I'm uh, I'm definitely looking forward to what I the future am. holds. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I mean just that you seeing you have that little dust up with Tommy on Friday was 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 good. You kind of knew you were coming though. Didn't yeah, you? You that was it, good. Hey? I, I, we, I, me and Tommy are good friends. I get on with him really well. He's a good guy and I tell you, he helps me out a lot as yeah. well behind the scenes. He does uh he helps me out a lot. I do go to him for for help and information yeah. sometimes so he's a good guy but he's uh well he didn't tell you his lines because i'm telling you now i watched that race from start to finish and he knew you were cut and he waited for, he wait he absolutely waited for you yeah to catch him he's, up. he's so he could, he's a very so he could very old, smart yeah, rider yeah. very smart rider and when i got behind him and he he upped his game a bit and <laughs> he just he he was riding like there was no one else on the yeah. track and that's uh that's a very difficult thing to do yeah. when you've got someone someone breathing down your neck so um I tried everything. I tried everything. I was getting loose. I was I was proper <laughs> having a go, and uh, yeah, he held me off. So it was good. It was really good fun, and like he's he's gone out there, and he yeah. wasn't he wasn't far off the win in the first yeah. race. So that's already that's a, a great achievement for me. Um, just to be able to run with them guys and, and get mixed up, and because yeah, you never know. We don't know what next year holds yet, but. Yeah. I could be in there next year. I yeah. could be having a race with them. I so. hope you are, mate. Look, I really appreciate the time because I know you get pulled all over the place and, you know, to come in and chat. And the, <clears throat> and not only that, chat so candidly, you know, because I do know that, like you said, you a lot of people are really critical, overly critical, but that's modern social media, isn't it? Course, so yeah. I think, you know, I think that's a smart decision getting off it for a little while and just uh, and doing what you do you got to do, you know? Good on you. Look, I'll let you go. You've got another motor to do. Conrad, thanks for your time, Appreciate mate. It. And we it's wish a you the to be on here. best of luck. We are all right behind you in the UK, even the ones that say, What's he playing at? Why is he riding so shit? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Because they want yeah, you to do course. so well, but yeah. they say, Yeah, whatever, mate. But like you said, only you know what goes on inside your head and the fact that you're still working out. Yeah, that's And we've got to remember that you're still a young man, you know? Life's yeah, tough I've enough as it is. How old are you now? I'm 22. There you go, see. 22. I couldn't so tell you what. Few years I, left yet. I want making good decisions at 22. I can tell you that. I'm still not making them now at 49. So, anyway. Anyway, there you go. That's Look, it. go and get ready for the next one. Thank nice you one. very much. Thanks for the support, guys. There you go. Comrade moves. We finally got him in the man in the van. Nice one. Brought to you by Whole Shot. Have a good one, mate. See Thank you. you very much.